Well, hello, my name is Jim Royal. Today I wanted to review a classic album. This one comes from Tom Petty. It's called Full Moon Fever. It was originally released in 1989 in April of that year. Uh, this was an album that was recorded uh, during 1988 and early 89. Uh, I wanted to uh, review this album today because uh, on October 2nd, very recently, 2017, Tom Petty passed away. It was very sudden, uh, came as a shock to all of us. Uh, originally the reports on the radio, uh, they had said he passed away, and then he, they said he was on life support, so I really wasn't sure what was happening. You know, we all wanted Tom to continue living. Um, unfortunately, you know, this happens. That's life and death. Uh, so, with that, when I there was still uncertainty about what was happening, I wanted to listen to some of his music and I decided to go to this album, Full Moon Fever. I hadn't listened to it in its entirety in a long time. Um, a lot of these songs that were hits off of it were played and continue to be played very much over saturation on the radio. So what I tried to do to comfort myself, I said, you know, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to you know, be in my bedroom, a bedroom, and just listen to it like uh, it's the first time. Uh, imagine trying to do that with Stairway to Heaven, you know, Led Zeppelin. You know, it's hard to do. I was able to uh, be successful. So I wanted to show you this. This is the cover. I know the CD is always harder to see, you know, on these. But Full Moon Fever. Uh, went five times platinum. It was a number three Billboard hit. It had five singles released off of it. Uh, this was produced by Tom Petty, Jeff Lynn of ELO, and Mike Campbell. Mike Campbell was a fellow uh, heartbreaker. Uh, he had been working with him since 1970, uh, playing lead guitar and guitar and also doing some writing. So that was also really kind of fun. <clears throat> After I listened to it, I did feel better, even though he did pass away. And like I said, you know, Tom has left us his music, and that's a gift. And we appreciate that. That's why now I listen to these songs, and it, it, I just I feel good. It's very comforting. All right, um, the first song on the album is called Free Fallen. Now, before I start, I wanted to say there is a Beatle connection. Uh, the Beatle connection is this. Uh, there was a supergroup that George Harrison and the Beatles formed called Traveling Wilburys. Tom Petty was a member. Jeff Lynne was a member. Jeff Lynne was from ELO. Uh, ELO is that band that, uh, you know, kind of where I am the walrus and the Beatles left off, they continued, is, is what they, they have said. Uh, also, Jeff Lynn produced uh, the Threedles, the remaining three Beatles in the 90s, Free as a Bird and Real Love. So, big Beatle connection, and George is also on this album, which I will explain on one song in particular. So, the first song, like I said, was Free Falling. Uh, this was a number seven hit, uh, very popular. And Tom said it, it was written with Jeff Lynne. Most of these songs were written, written with Jeff. There's 12 songs on here. Uh, seven of them were written with him. And then Mike Campbell worked, uh, wrote a little bit with Tom. And then Tom wrote uh, three by himself on here toward the end of the album. Uh, this was the first song that they collaborated on, him and Jeff Lynne. Uh, and I guess they recorded, they wrote and recorded in two days. Uh, very, very good song. Tom says it's not it's not in, about anything in particular, is what he said, outside of he remembers the long road, you know, the long drive on Ventura Boulevard, and, you know, that song, is that lyric is mentioned on there, talking about Ventura Boulevard. But some of the lines in here is, uh, I, I think it's Americana at its best, and, and Tom and, and Jeff uh, grew up in the 50s, and Tom's from the South, and it has lyrics like, she's a good girl, loves her mama, loves Jesus and America too, talks about how she's crazy about all this, uh, loves her boyfriend, and talks about how he is the boyfriend and how he broke her heart, and now he's free, he's free fallen. So uh, I guess it's just up to interpretation, but uh, it was just a really fun song. Uh, I've always liked it, but it is one that they play quite a bit. The next song is called I Won't Back Down. I wanted to show you the actual single, the cassette single that I bought when this came out. Bought this very early. 
might have bought it in May, I'm not sure of 89, but I bought it pretty quickly. So that is the first single, the lead-off single. This was a number 12 hit. Okay. I just love that. George Harrison is featured uh, very predominantly on slide guitar on here and also backing vocals. And this was, uh, I won't back down, it's just, you got to see the video. Uh, it has them in a film studio. Uh, Jeff Lynn is also there, Mike Campbell, and Ringo Starr is also there with George and Tom, which I thought was really fun. Uh, George is not, uh, he's playing drums in the video, but he's actually not on the recording. Uh, during the recording of this, Tom Petty had said that he had a very terrible cold. And uh, <laughs> it was funny. George went and got a ginger root from the store, uh, steamed it, put it you know, in a pot, and then had Tom stick his face down his <laughs> right in it to clear up his sinuses. And after that, he was able to record. And he had no trouble with his voice on the rest of it. So there you go. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, this is my favorite, my favorite song on the album. They continue to play it so much, and I never get tired of it. It's a song about determination. I won't back down, I'll stand my ground. He's talking about being at the gates of hell. You know, you can put me at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. Uh, there's, you know, it's just, it's fun. You know, you, you gotta watch it. The video's fun, too. Uh, okay, the next song is called Love is a Long Road. This was, uh... Tom and Mike Campbell writing this one, uh, and it's just excellent. I think it's an excellent album track. It's a really good rocker. I think it was introduced at a right time on this album. Uh, I really love it. I, I really love it. I mean, I think it could have been a, a big single. Uh, there were five on here, like I said earlier. I, I don't think this was one of them, but a wonderful song. Uh, the next song is called a Face in the Crowd, and this is a nice song that... Uh, I heard on Tom Petty Radio recently, Channel 31, this has been a radio uh, station that's been out for about two years. Tom helped, you know, get it going, and he has a song called Barry, uh, a radio program called Barry Treasure also on there, which is good, playing old songs. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a, a nice song him and Jeff wrote together, and it uh, just talks about, you know, before this big event, you were just another face in the crowd, and... Uh, I don't know, I just like it's very dreamlike to me. It's just, it's very nice. It's nice to listen to. Uh, next song is called Running Down a Dream. This is with uh, collaboration with Jeff, Tom, and Mike Campbell. And the video is wonderful. It's a nice animation. If you get a chance, uh, check it out. Running Down a Dream is just great. He's talking about his influence, Del Shannon, me and Del were singing and uh, on the radio. And it's just, it's just fun. You know, it's just fun. You know, I, I wanted to bring something up. This is, if you want great uh, driving music, put this on. Put this on in your car and listen to it all the way through. I, I mean, so many people tell me that. Uh, a lot of reviews that I've also looked at, they say the same thing. This is definitely the album. Nice long trip. Put it on. Running Down a Dream is, is just, it's a positive song. You know, he's just, it's a nice acoustic number. There's heavy acoustics on this album. Though I think the album, there's a lot of simplicity on here, which I think also makes it more of a solo album. Uh, but it's great, Running Down a Dream. Check it out. Uh, all right, well, after this, there is a little gap of 30 seconds called Hello CD Listeners. It was on the early copies of this album on the CD, which I was fortunate enough to get. And... There are barnyard noises in the background, and Tom is basically saying, uh, "Tension CD listeners, you know this is the time when you know those that have a cassette have to flip it over, and those that have a record have to turn it over on the other side. For you guys, though, you just sit, you know, don't have to really do anything. So uh, it's funny. It was just, it was just a tongue-in-cheek thing. Adele Shannon is in the background, like I said, doing barnyard noises. It's about half a minute." Uh, I think downloadable copies later on reinstated it. I don't think it's on later copies. I'm not sure, but I was fortunate enough to get this. And it's just it's just the humor that they had. Uh, one more thing. Running Down a Dream was number uh, 23 song on Billboard. So I wanted to uh, say that. 
All right, next song is a cover tune, I'll Feel a Whole Lot Better. This is a song by Gene Clark of the Birds. Uh, it was originally recorded by them in 1965. Uh, heavy, heavy influence uh, for Tom Petty. Uh, but he does a really good job of making it sound like his own. And uh, I had known it at the time, but I didn't really know too much about the Birds. Uh, again, another outstanding album track. All right, well, the next couple songs are... Oh, You're So Bad, this is the next one. This was the last single, if I'm not mistaken, off the album. Here are some of the lyrics. He says, uh, my sister got lucky, married a yuppie. I don't know what is worse. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry, let me start again. My sister got lucky, married a yuppie, took him all for what he was worth. Now she's a swinger, dating a singer. I don't know what is worse. Oh, you're so bad. That's how it goes. Anyway, it, it was fun, uh, nice upbeat song that, you know, continues uh, on, you know, the second half of the album. Just like it. It's a lot of fun. Nice rocker. Um, all right. Next song is called Depending on You. You know, the, these next couple songs were written just... Uh, with Tom. I, Tom. Tom wrote them alone and they're, it's a nice album track, you know, it's it's just, it's a nice one. Uh, it, it continues with the simplicity of the album and I do like it a lot. Alright, the Apartment song is the next one. Like I said, this was the B-side for uh, I Won't Back Down and he's talking about you know, living in an apartment at one time and uh, just, you know, what, what that brought him. Just just some fun, fun stuff. You know, it's, it's a nice little number. Alright, for now uh, is a real acoustic number, very simple, kind of like Battle of Evermore, if I'm not mistaken, by Led Zeppelin. Uh, not sounding like Robert Plant, the lead singer, but just that kind of sound, that kind of laid-back quality. And, and uh, I thought it was a little something different for Tom on this album. And it definitely, uh, you know, it, it's nice not just to have all this stuff kind of sound similar. This is kind of going off the beaten track a little bit, and I think he uh, succeeds very well. A mind with a heart of its own. Uh, this is another example of just a wonderful song, especially even toward the end of the album. This would be something I would think that would be, you know, uh, the first half. But this album is so strong uh, that, you know, they were able to put it there. And uh, I like this one a lot. This is uh, Jeff Lynn again and him. And I think, uh, I think Mike, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the last song is called Zombie Zoo. Zombie Zoo uh, is a, a party anthem. It's a party song. You're thinking, what? What's going on here? It's the last song on the album. They're doing a little something adventurous. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the complete meaning is, but it's good time music. It's fun. Uh, you have some backing vocals from Roy Orbison on there. Uh, I think some of their wives were also in the background. Uh, just just a, a fun party atmosphere. And this was recorded, I think, a little bit before uh, you know Roy had passed away. So that gives you an idea. Roy passed away December of 88. Um, the sessions were interrupted during this, apparently, uh, when they were doing Traveling Wilburys. And the Wilburys were, uh, their first album was recorded April and May of 1988. So they had already started this album then. And I think it went on for a little bit during, you know, during the uh, most of 1988, you know, so uh, I've got to tell you, you know, this is was a really good time for me in 89 and this brings back great memories and I'm just really happy to share it with you, uh, my review. A uh, scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would definitely uh, give it an 8. I think it's just that strong. Um, are there any songs on here that could have been just Heartbreaker songs? I think... Um, I think Love is a Long Road probably would be one example that the Heartbreakers could have done that. But I think the rest of it is just, I think it was good that they decided, Tom, uh, decided to, you know, record this as his first solo album. So I want to thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And this is Jim Royal signing off, and you have a very nice day. Take care. Bye.